All right, so we're leaving that sale right there. You guys can see it. Man, I'm a big advocate of getting up early and digging through like all the bins that have the McDonald's figures and shit in them because I just found two mask figures <laughs> from the 80s with their helmets. I said, how much do you want for these little guys? She said, how about 50 cents for the pair? I said, I'll give you a dollar. So I gave her a dollar and we got some mask figures. So that's, that's a great way to start your garage sale day. So we're gonna hit this community set. We already hit up two, but there's one there, there's one there, one on this side of the street. So we'll see what we find. Good morning. So that is what you call a waste of time sale. She had everything priced pretty much at like eBay prices. She had a box of video games, which was crazy. She wanted $5 each. The discs were scratched, but I did pick out, you know, a lot of the Just Dance games, Rock Band games. And I'm, I asked her, I said, will you do two bucks a piece for these? She's like, no, I can't. I gotta stick at five. I'm like, well, the discs are all scratched, so it's gonna cost me a couple bucks to resurface them, but two bucks is what I can do. She goes, oh, I, I could do four. That's about, and I'm like, okay, lady. So all that shit is gonna sit there all weekend. Another lady asked her, like, on a $10 item, would you take $5? She's like, no, I gotta stick at 10. Like, lady, do you want this stuff out of your, out of your yard or what? Like, there's gotta be a, a number in between, <laughs> you know, five and 10 that is acceptable to get that piece of crap out of your yard. I don't know, man. She's gonna have a, a hard time selling stuff. And uh, she and her mother are big gals, so they're gonna have to lug all that shit back in their garage or wherever it came from, because none of that's gonna sell. But man, those are frustrating garage sales, aren't they? All right, so we're leaving that sale. There's one every garage sale time. It's the artsy fartsy sale, where they've got yarn and paint and little craftable items. All, all price to move though. All price to move, 50 cents. All right, we're looking for this other one at 263 Newton. Man, there's another one right here on Drexel. So we'll stop by this one. This is what it's like out there, guys. It's what it's like, oh God, look at this. Look at this. Oh God. All right, what are the chances we're gonna find something awesome there? All right, we shouldn't have even stopped at that one. Um, it was kind of weird. She's selling this jewelry, you know, she's got in the bag and they're like a dollar to five dollars or whatever. And then she's like putting in the earrings and putting on the necklace to show her friend. It's like, you're getting all sweaty on that, sh on that stuff, right? Like, what are we doing? All right, here's Newton. 263 has got to be this way because the other way is an apartment complex. And it's right there, I can see it. Let's go up and take a look. Now we got some, uh, maybe some stuff here. We'll go see. Let's get out of the car and go. All right, so I'm at the Kroger gas station getting gas. Uh, here's your Bolo uh, Nike golf clubs, man. If you see Nike golf clubs out there, definitely grab them. This one had a ping, ping zing too in there, but uh, it's a six, seven, eight, nine, and a pitching wedge Nike uh, VRS glove clubs. These are about thirty bucks a piece, so we got about one hundred and fifty dollars worth of golf clubs for twenty-five bucks. 
All right, so um, check check this out. I've been trying to get into new categories as I'm going uh, full-time eBay, but I picked up some vintage cookbooks. I thought this was gonna be a good idea. You know, you get them for a dollar or less, and it turns out that this probably isn't gonna be the category for me. Uh, this chaff, chaffing dish? I don't know, I've never even heard of that. But it's from like 1958, so I thought a dollar? Eh, okay. Looks like it's about $5, so that wasn't a great pickup. Southern Living Recipes from 1984. Thought this was gonna be a great pickup because it's vintage, right? It's like super vintage, uh, you know. And uh, turns out, again, like $5. So I don't know if vintage cookbooks are gonna be for me. I don't even know if I wanna waste the time to list these. Uh, I don't know. But what happens is you guys see all of the successes on these pickup videos. So I thought I would show you uh, some definite failures. Although, I don't know, my daughter might like this one because she likes to bake and it's got a lot of desserts and stuff in there. So it may not all be a loss, but uh, yeah, if I, I might just list this one for five bucks. And if we get five bucks, then we're good, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, vintage cookbooks, probably not for me. So this was the last, this was the last garage sale that I hit and uh, she had a bunch of clothes. I'm looking through these clothes, like how much do you want for them? She's like 50 cents. And I'm like, man, that's a steal of a deal. We got a Fanatics Los Angeles Dodgers t-shirt, still with the tags. So again, I, I mean, even if those go for $10 and I put mine up there for eight and hopefully sell it quick, uh, we're still making a good profit. Uh, apartment nine, nice uh, like flannel shirt, still with the tags on it, 50 cents. We got Nike dry fit, I always recommend getting Nike dry fit stuff. Uh, really cool colors there. And then we got Under Armour. Was this called dry gear or heat gear? Yeah, heat gear, good stuff there. Uh, quarter zip Under Armour. And then an extra large Under Armour full zip hoodie. Like new condition, 50 cents. She goes, yeah, you should have got here earlier. This is like noon. So yeah, if you got here when we opened, I had a bunch of Nike stuff, Adidas stuff with tags on it. And I went, oh my gosh, that's all. The, like, I love Adidas clothes. So uh, yeah, here we go. What else do we got? So uh, the first garage sale that we really made any headway, we hit like three or four before this, maybe five or six before this. And uh, really just wasn't coming up with a lot. I said, how much are you? She had a stack of 360 games and a console that said $50 on it. Um, I said, how much are the games? And she said, well, 50 bucks and the games, I probably would have just bought it. Uh, but she said $3 for the game. So I dug through her games and I found a red Xbox 360 controller. Guys, I can't stress how hard it is to actually find good working condition Xbox 360 controllers out there. And this is a, you know, a Microsoft one. So it's not like a third party. It does need the buttons replaced or the, uh, the thumbsticks replaced. You can see it's a little gnarled right there. That's no problem. Need to take it apart and clean out the sides. But this one has the battery battery pack and the rechargeable battery pack. So I take it all up there. She has $5 on this and then she has $3 per game. So that would've been 15, that would've been 20 bucks. She goes, just give me 13. Okay, so yeah, we definitely grabbed that. That worked. I, I don't know if I wanna get rid of that. I'm, man because I'm running low on Xbox 360 controllers. Uh, I sent two to Bobby and Adam, because uh, they sent me something, so it was like a, almost like a trade. They sent me a uh, heavy barrel and stuff. Um, and then I gave my neighbor one, a wired one. But anyway, the games are gonna be pay for, pay for the whole thing. We got uh, Guitar Hero 2, they're all complete, pretty good shape. Uh, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. Guitar Hero World Tour, can't stress, just start buying Guitar Hero games if they're $3 or less. Uh, Sacred 2 Fallen Angel. I thought this had a bunch of inserts in it, but it's the manual. The manual is massive. And then uh, Golden Axe Beast Rider, along with uh, with the controller, 13 bucks. Uh, not so bad there, right? I mean, we're gonna triple our money probably on the Guitar Hero games. All right, so a couple, a couple sales right next to each other. I'm not gonna, it's a bag of Lego. <laughs> she said $2, but it does have a police helicopter in there. And um, you know, a bag of Lego Friends. Now, I'm not in the Lego Friends at all, but these figures sell for decent money. They're, they're basically on par with uh, like Star Wars commons. You know, these are about three, $4 a pop. 
And like that little guy, Marcel, people are asking like $10 for him. And especially if you see any of these like uh, these Lego Friends kids, they're like super. But anyway, I added this all up. There's about $25 worth of Lego Friends minifigures there. Uh, 50 cents for this guy. I forget what it's called. A Beetle or something or other from 1990, 1997 Beetle Max. And unfortunately, it's broken on the back. I did not notice that right there. But it was only 50 cents. So yeah, another bad buy. Um, she had Jackie Chan, three film collect collection, Operation Condor, Operation Condor 2, and Twin Dragons on DVD. So I'm going to watch this because I haven't seen these Jackie Chan movies in a long time. And then I'm gonna throw that up on my eBay store, uh, probably like $2. So if somebody wants to pay $2 and then shipping on that, there it is. Uh, this was a cool find, a dollar. It is the not for resale Spyro the Dragon demo disc. So yeah, I figured I'd get that. I thought it was in pretty decent shape. Yeah, just a little, little cleaning there. But uh, yeah, demo disc for a dollar. Yeah, you saw it right there in the footage, man. That garage sale was an absolute home run first thing i saw this is your uh, this is your cm retro bolo uh for this video these haynes manuals they make them for all different makes and models and years of, of cars uh, trucks suvs all if you see these grab them especially if they're two dollars or less because they're definitely going to have more value than that there are typically these guys okay that and gals that are into like these motorcycles and cars and fixing them, they want this in their shop, okay? They want this in their shop more than they want to be able to look it up on the internet. And they love these things. She had $3 on this Yamaha. I didn't even look it up. I was like, how about two bucks? She was like, sure. Because I knew I was gonna get more than $2 out of it. These things sell for about 30, 40 bucks for these. So we won right there. But on the way out, she had a free bin and she was like, yeah, just take all of it. She, she was basically trying to get people just to take the tub and put it in their car. But uh, we found a Cincinnati Bengals koozie, which is cool. Uh, full metal jacket on uh, VHS. Great movie there. Uh, Blade 3. Needs a case replacement. Needs to be cleaned badly, but hey, it's all there. MTV Sing Like the Stars. I don't even know if this has any value. But the, the disc that's in there is still in the package. So I was like, free is my second favorite F word after friendship. So we're definitely gonna take it, <laughs> oh man. But wow, for free. Metroid Prime Trilogy, this is the steel book. Which create, and I played Metroid 2 this year for the first time, Super Metroid this year for the first time. So I'm all about, all about the Metroid. Still in very nice shape. On the inside, it is just the insert, the book and then the inserts no game slip cover or manual so i haven't decided what i'm going to do with this but i'm probably just going to flip this on my ebay store so um yeah somebody will probably get a good deal on this I i'm thinking somebody has one for 75 dollars i'm thinking that 55 dollars with free shipping is probably going to be in that price range where somebody wants it and that pays for half of the day we spent 100 well we spent 120 Carol Ann got some shoppings. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, yeah, this would be half of what we still have left. But anyway, let's check out that clip. All right, so I snagged this at a garage sale, this huge box of Shopkins and Shopkins stuff. I got it for $20. Carol Ann is asking me, how much do I want for this whole box? Now, the reseller in me wants to say $300. But I'm sure I could get more than that in chores out of her ass. I mean, out of her. So I don't know. Maybe we'll give this to her for free in good faith to make sure that she uh, does her chores. But man, I, I asked the lady, I said, how much do you want for this whole box of Shopkins? And she goes, I don't know. Just give me like $20. I was like, um, okay. There's got to be money in there somewhere. I found this little refrigerator. This, this might be the piece that I need to sell and I'll get my money back. How about that? Anyway, so what do you think? Make her pay for it, five, six, 20 times my money. Or make her make, make her wash the dishes more, do laundry. I forgot that, I got that in that free box too. It's a little wooden dolphins sculpture for somebody's like desk. So I don't know. It was free, man, what do you want me to do? All right, this was a, an interesting sale. 
uh, I'm walking up the driveway and I see a PS3 rock band set. But ah, money, 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 money. Ting, right? Uh, $5 is what the guy wanted. So I'm looking at it, the drumsticks are broken and uh, you know, it's all rusted out. So I, I was like debating it, I left it. But as I'm walking up the garage or the driveway into the garage, I'm thinking, man, I might wanna pick that up. Somebody's gonna want it for parts, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, he had a bag of Pokemon figures. These are the McDonald's toys from uh, 2015 or something, 2019. Uh, let's see if we can get a date on here. Hell, I can't see it. So that's one. We got two of those. Two of these little bird guys. Man, is this Eevee? I don't know. I don't know any of my Pokemons. So I figured for $2, uh, there's definitely $2 worth of figures there. Uh, there's five figures, that's 40 cents a piece. So I saw they had some VHS. I said, how much you want for your VHS stuff? He says, 25 cents. I said, well, 25 cents is the get it out of here now price. He's like, absolutely. Uh, Pokemon Thundershock and uh, it's got a little, looks like a little water damage or a little bend right there, but other than that, I don't know. I don't collect Pokemon. Box of games sitting on the floor and I saw Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and this is like all water damaged. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't, yeah, that's probably coming through right there. So I said, uh, it's all water damaged. You guys had it out all night, but and I just went like, okay. I have a very nice case and manual and inserts in my uh, empty case box. So I was just gonna buy the disc and put it in there. But when I, I got home, I didn't realize it. I opened it up and it's Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on Xbox One. So, I mean, it is in nice condition, <laughs> but I don't own an Xbox One, uh, nor do I care about Call of Duty. So we're gonna call that a bust. And for 25 cents, I'm sure this doesn't even trade into GameStop for 25 cents. We'll strip out the, uh, the live insert and we'll save the case. But um, yeah, again, another bust. We should have probably paid a little bit more attention there. And for 25 cents, like what did I say the other time? The other time. For 25 cents, just take all the games. You know what I mean? Because that would there was like, I don't know, eight of them. So what, like two bucks? I'm an idiot sometimes. But I did see these in there and I said, hey, how much do you want for these Xbox One controllers? They don't have the backs on them and they're a little dinged up, but I think I can clean them up if they work. He goes, well, I think they work. We don't even have a consoles anymore. How about 25 cents? Okay. So I grab these two Xbox One controllers. I take them immediately to Maxine's Bargain Box. Greatest video game store of all time. Dave is the best. She lets me test these. Both of these work, okay? He offered me 50 bucks for these on the spot. He goes, I can never get Xbox One controllers in. When I get them in, I wanna bundle them with consoles, but they sell so fast that I can't, can't keep them. So he was there when I tested these. He offered me 50 bucks and gave me the backs because they didn't have the backs. So I said, okay, well, let me think about it. I'm gonna go put them in the video, <laughs> you know? And I said, uh, hey, can you hold this Ninja Gaiden um, uh, shadow thing for uh, a Game Boy, the Game Boy game, Ninja Gaiden? And he goes, well, I'll trade you this for the controllers. And that's a $70 game, right? And I'm like, uh, okay, hold on. Let me go put these in the video and then I'll come back tomorrow and we'll talk about it. So I might be trading these two Xbox One controllers uh, that I got for 25 cents a piece for a $70 Game Boy game. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And he knows that the, he was there when I tested them. So uh, very, very awesome. So the last place that uh, we stopped at, we stopped at the flea market on Main Street. And um, yeah, it was just one of those weird things, man. Cause they, they only take cash. I had some leftover garage sale money. So I thought I'm gonna stop in there. We got, uh, yeah, let me just do this first. So uh, I had to have this, right? WWF champion Hulk Hogan's greatest matches. Uh, paid up for that, paid $5. That's probably about what it's worth, but uh, you know, had to represent the Hulkamania. I'm gonna watch it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not because I don't collect VHS. Then the other thing that they had, this was super cool. Uh, 15 bucks, Lego set 76224. It is uh, the, what's this called? Miles Morales versus Morbius. 
This is a $25 set on the shelf right now and they had it for 15 bucks. It's brand new sealed. And you know, when are you ever gonna get another Mor Morbius minifigure? Pro probably never, because that movie tanked. And I guess unless he's in like a Ghost Rider or a Blade or they try and do something like that, uh, you know, Midnight Suns or Sons of Vengeance or whatever, whatever he was in, um, unless they try and do something like that, you're probably never gonna see another Morbius uh, minifigure which would make this set a pretty good investment set. but So we paid $73 for everything. That was 20 bucks. I told him, I said, I'll be more than happy to give you the 20 bucks uh, for that, but we did get a stack of games. So there was a new guy in there. Um, I'm used to dealing with the lady or the other guy that's in there, and they usually just basically give me a really good price. So this guy totals everything up. He's like, oh, it's like $120. I'm like, okay, well, uh, you know, shoot me a price. He's like, well, what are you thinking? I'm like, well, there's 20 games. I would do $2 a game, so 40 bucks cash for the games. He's like, well, I couldn't do that. How about, uh, about $3 a game, so I'd make it $90. And I'm like, $90 for everything. Uh, what did I offer? I, okay, so I offered him $2 a game and then 20 for that. I paid his price on that. So I said 60. He was at 120, I, I said 60. He was like, well, I can't do that. I'll do $3 a game, which makes that 60 plus the stuff that's 80. So I pointed out, I'm like, these discs are scratched. Uh, some of these have water damage on them. It, I think they're gonna be okay, but it's more work for me and it's not like I can bring them back. So I can't pay that. So I opened my wallet and I said, here's your 20 for that. Let's just take that out of the equation. Uh, you know, so I gave him 53 bucks for 20 games. So 265 a game. All right, I think we're gonna do okay. So yeah, that was the long, boring explanation of the negotiation. Uh, Burnout 3 takedown on PS2, missing the manual, but check this out. This hasn't happened to me in forever. You open up a PlayStation 2 game and right there is a memory card. That memory card's probably worth 10 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and what's funny is I just watched Small Town, uh, Small Town Retro Game Hunter. Um, he bought a PlayStation 2 lot and it seemed like every other game had a memory card in it. You know what, I'm gonna link that video down below. So check out Small, Small Town Retro Hunter. Cause that was crazy. He's like, yeah, with the memory card. And I wouldn't think anything of it. And then like two or three, he's like, yeah, this one has a memory card. And this one has a memory. I'm like, dude, you got like $40 worth, $50 worth of memory cards. Um, for the Wii, now's the time guys. Jump on those seventh generation games if you can. Uh, Despicable Me, that one's complete. Uh, Excite Truck, missing the manual. Call of Duty 3. Now, when I opened this up, there was a bonus disc in there. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So I guess technically we got 21 games, so do the math on that. Uh, Call, of Duty, Call of Duty 3, but it also has the bonus disc. So I don't know if this came with a, a two CD holder, McGillicuddy Warlock Jones, but yeah. Uh, Tony Hawk Underground on the X-Bone. Bummer this wasn't complete. I actually think Legends is the more expensive one, but Rayman Origins. Had to pick up this one after I talked it up. Need for Speed to run, sun damaged. But the disc is, it don't need to be resurfaced, but it's not completely destroyed. So just a disc. So I, I'm gonna throw this in my doubles box back there. And eventually if I get a console or somebody wants this, you know what I mean? Use it for trade fodder, whatever. But what a great game. <laughs> need for, what is it? Shift Unleashed, the Shift 2 Unleashed Limited Edition Need for Speed. Holy shit. So that one's complete. Uh, this one was a beautiful condition. Mass Effect 2. Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, for whatever reason, these Black Op games trade into GameStop usually once a year or twice a year for like seven or eight dollars. So and that's cash. Uh, they'll do like 10 trade or something. So, you know, to get it for two bucks and we'll hold it until that, until we're ready to trade it in, uh, that'll be fine. 
Just Dance 3, just like the Guitar Hero games, Just, Ga just Dance games are uh, pretty much a home run. Although on the 360, you have to have the Kinect for that one. Um, not everybody has the Kinect, even though they're probably pretty cheap. And then this one I'm probably gonna add to the collection. I think only two or three of these I'm adding to the collection. But it's uh, uh, Soul Calibur 4, it's a Platinum Hits version, but it's got the Yoders, the Yodemeisters. It's complete, a little dinging on the manuals, but other than that, not bad. This one was an absolute bummer. You know when you reach onto the shelf for a game, you're like, oh wow, that's cool. You reach onto the shelf to grab it, but you can feel that it's like water damage, you know, it's like wrinkly. Guys, Lollipop Chainsaw for the PlayStation 3. Uh, this is like a $70 game. If it were in nice mint condition, the water damage is so bad on this. Like, I can see it. It's destroyed the, the cover. But for whatever reason, when I opened it up, it had the insert, nice condition, and the disc, minus some fingerprints, is also in pretty nice condition. So, you know, for 265, that disc is about a $40 disc. We'll try and save the case if we can. But yeah, that was a bummer, absolute bummer. Um, I've been all about the PS3 lately. I love collecting for the PlayStation 3. And uh, we definitely grabbed Batman Game of the Year. This is uh, Arkham City. Look at Harley Quinn right there. Meow, right? Uh, here's regular Arkham City. Tony Hawk's Project 8. Gran Turismo 5. I got Call of Duty Black Ops, more Black Ops. I'll never play Black Ops. I don't care about Black Ops. Uh, Bioshock 2, this is really cool. Um, it's got everything in there, it's in nice shape. Probably need a case replacement at some point, but it's got that embossed logo on it, that Bioshock 2 logo. So that's pretty awesome. And then last time I had this for the Xbox 360, it's a Black Sight Area 51. Pretty, pretty cool shooter, first person shooter. I started playing through it. I'm about halfway through the first mission, I think. And um, yeah, this one's definitely going into the PlayStation 3 collection after I swap out the case. It's got some bad spots on it, but yep. 70, well, 20 bucks for the Hulk Hogan tape and the Lego set, $53 for 20, 21 games. We'll cheat, we'll say that extra Call of Duty game is a game. Uh, for 21 games, so, you know, 250 a game or so. So that is going to do it. I have a lot of cleaning and listing and resurfacing and testing to do. So uh, what have you guys been picking up? Make sure you leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share on social media because that does actually help out a ton. Don't forget to bang that notification bell. I like Operation Condor. So you stay up to date on all of your CM at Retro Gaming. Goodness, guys, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on the next one.